Hi everyone, welcome back to this machine learning course of ours. And in this section, we are going to learn about another supervised learning algorithm that is support vector machines. It is a classification algorithm. Okay. Support vector machine is uh, it's like quite one of the most famous supervised learning algorithm. And recently, uh, from the past three to four years, it's it has been uh, in use a lot. It is used for classification also as well as it is used for regression problems also. However, primarily the support vector machine is mostly used for our classification task only. So the goal of SVM algorithm is to create the best line or a decision boundary that can uh, segregate n dimensional space into classes, different classes. Uh, which will actually help us uh, to get easily put the new data point in the correct category in the future. That is, it will help us predict the probable location for the new data point. Okay, the best decision boundary is known as uh, the hyperplane. Basically, what our goal is in SVM is, let's say we have some data points over here. Okay, so let me put it out over here. and let's say we have some points over here we'll actually look into the example of how it's working on but just to give a overview a head start okay let's say these are two points okay two classes and the goal of svm is to get a line okay get a straight line uh, get a straight line which will actually be the best straight line, okay, the best straight line, uh, which will help us predict out uh, the next new data points, okay. This line is known as hyperplane and it is based on the best margin, which is giving the most margin, okay. Okay, we are going to talk about margins, we are going to talk about what we mean by support vectors, but just to give a overview over here, it is like, we SVM chooses the extreme points vector that helps in creating the hyperplane. So the extreme points over here is this one. Okay, this will be in the this line, and again this one might be one more extreme point. Okay, and these two these two points are known as support vectors, which help us uh, get the straight line. Okay, and this straight line, the middle straight line, is known as the hyperplane. Okay, which will be equidistant from both of them. And these points are known as uh, support vectors. Now, uh, not going much deeper into the maths part, let me uh, tell you how we can uh, actually, uh, how the support vector machine actually works. Okay, so how does this work? Let's say, and this is an example where uh, we have two classes, the circle and the X class. Okay, uh, the working, of the SVM algorithm can be understood by this small problem. Now, just think, if we have to create a straight line to that will uh, distinguish between both of them, okay, that will be more like the decision boundary. Okay, Le what I mean is, let's say I have a straight line over here. Let me change the color. I will create a straight line over here, and whatever we have in the left hand side. It will be of the blue class and whatever we have in this side, this is the right side. It will be uh, of the X class. But the problem arises when, so see, as this is a 2D space, so just by having a straight line, we can easily separate the two classes. But the problem lies when uh, we see a broader picture. We can have more than one lines. Okay, this line also separates the two classes. This line also separates the two classes. This line also separates the two classes. Similarly, we can have multiple lines which can separate out the two classes. Okay, these are all different lines. Okay, line one, let's say line one, line two, line two, line three, line four. Similarly, we can have n number of lines which can separate out the two classes. But SVM algorithm, it is based on that we have to select the best line, the best line which will help us separate out the two classes okay uh, 
which is basically a decision boundary the straight line straight line will be the decision boundary which will help us say uh, which whatever the new point is come which class it belongs to the best decision boundary or the region is known as hyperplane okay sbm algorithm finds the closest points of the line from both the classes these points are known as support vectors so uh, this is the same data set that we were having and you can see the closest points was one is this okay and over here we uh, the extreme point might be over here one blue point i guess i pushed it out so we had a blue point over here okay so this point that is this point over here wh what is this point okay this point is uh, the closest vector Okay, the distance between these two vectors, this vector, the blue one and the orange one, uh, this is what gives us what is known as the margin. Okay, and uh, this actually gives us this uh, straight line, the center straight line. So, SBM algorithm, what it does is it finds the closest point of the lines from the both the classes. Okay, these are the closest point. Okay, from both the classes, it's trying to find out the closest point. These points are known as support vectors. So these points are support vectors. Just remember why it is known as vectors because vectors are as this is in 2D plane, uh, 2D point. Okay, as this is in the 2D space. So easily we can say them as points. But once the dimension increases, uh, you will see that we have a, mo a much broader picture which where we are having vectors which are actually giving me idea about the direction what how closeness they are to each other that's why they are known as support vectors the distance between the vectors and the hyperplane is known as margin okay this is the hyperplane which is the result of these two support vectors and this space over here is known as margin okay. this space over here is known as margin Okay, this is the hyperplane or the optimal hyperplane. You can call it hyperplane or the optimal hyperplane. Okay. As you see, uh, these cross lines are the uh, margins. Okay, these lines are the margins, which gives me the optimal space. Okay. So I'll leave this margin. So the hyperplane with the maximum margin is called known as the optimal hyperplane. Okay. Obviously, this is my optimal hyperplane as I've told you. So the complete SVM algorithm is based on this funda only. We just have to create, we have to get the best fitting line or the decision boundary using the support vectors, okay, which will give me the hyperplane and that hyperplane will actually help me out. Uh, actually help me out to get the straight line which will be the decision boundary to separate both the classes so whenever a new class comes let's say you have this class okay this is a new class you will always say that this belongs to the blue class and similarly if you have something over here or over here you will say that this belongs to orange class okay that's everything about our linear svm now let's talk about the types of svm 